Today, we've got a shocking revelation. German media just exposed that Volkswagen might be slowing down their electric vehicle sales on purpose. Why would they do that and what's really going on behind the scenes? Stay with us to watch this video because this story is going to blow your mind. A dark cloud of uncertainty was already looming. The atmosphere was tense, I won't lie, says Ronnie Zeha, the assembly manager at one of Volkswagen's most famous and efficient factories. Just three weeks later, the workers' fears became a reality. The legendary car maker, known for creating the iconic Beetle, delivered a shocking announcement it might have to close factories for the first time in its 87-year history. This news followed another jolt as far-right political parties saw major wins in two state elections in the former East Germany, including in Saxony, where Volkswagen's Zwickau plant is located. Germany now faces a pivotal moment in its industrial history. The country's largest manufacturer, Volkswagen, is on the brink of closing factories, a move that symbolizes a deeper industrial decline. This isn't just a delayed reaction to changing market forces, it's a blow to Germany's long-standing identity as a global automotive leader. For a country that was once the world's largest exporter, this marks a critical turning point in its economic story. Germany is experiencing a profound cultural and economic shift, reflecting the challenges it faces as a nation that was reunited after the fall of the Berlin Wall. The ambitious project of reunification has brought with it significant costs and the divide between East and West Germany remains a deep political fault line. In recent years, parties like the Anti-Immigration Alternative for Germany or AFD and left-wing populists have capitalized on these divisions, gaining momentum and threatening the country's political stability. The traditional political establishment has struggled to counter these movements, leaving them with little power to stop the growing unrest. In the short term, these political shifts are yet another blow to Chancellor Olaf Scholz's already fragile coalition government, but the real challenge lies ahead. With federal elections looming in 2025, the central question becomes how to address the root causes of voter dissatisfaction. Much of the answer depends on Germany's ability to orchestrate another economic miracle, transitioning from its long-held role as a global car manufacturing powerhouse to a leader in clean energy, semiconductor production, and battery technology. Volkswagen's current struggles serve as a warning of the challenges facing Germany's economy. Once the symbol of the nation's industrial success, Volkswagen is now grappling with significant challenges that mirror broader issues within Germany's economic model. The company's decline highlights how even the strongest players can be caught off guard when they fail to adapt to changing times. This raises concerns about whether Germany, often referred to as Europe's economic engine, can maintain its leadership in a rapidly evolving global market. Volkswagen's problems are partly self-inflicted due to poor business decisions, but they also reflect the larger challenges facing Germany as a business hub, explains Karsten Breschke, head of macroeconomics at ING. Germany has been losing competitiveness for years, and this is now affecting what were once the crown jewels of its economy. Zwickau, a mid-sized city in eastern Germany, embodies these challenges. It's home to one of Volkswagen's major factories, which produced 247,000 fully electric cars last year, along with 12,000 car bodies for high-end Lamborghini and Bentley models. Even before the recent news of political plant closures, cost-cutting measures were already in place. The plant, like many others, faces the harsh reality of a slower-than-expected uptake of electric vehicles in the region. The high cost of EVs, combined with fading government incentives, have left many consumers hesitant to make the switch. Volkswagen, despite remaining profitable, has had a rough journey in its transition to electric vehicles. The company initially resisted the shift, holding on to diesel engines for too long. When it finally committed to electric vehicles, it swung too far in the other direction, launching an aggressive campaign to push EVs. This all-or-nothing approach has made the company vulnerable as consumer demand hasn't met expectations, especially in markets like Eastern Germany, where EV adoption has been slow. The struggles of Volkswagen are symptomatic of broader issues in Germany's economic landscape. 
For decades, the country's economy was driven by its dominance in manufacturing, particularly in the automotive sector. Germany was known for its precision engineering and high-quality exports, with companies like Volkswagen at the forefront of the success. However, as global markets have shifted towards cleaner technologies and digital innovation, Germany has been slow to keep pace. This has left even its most iconic companies in a precarious situation. The challenge for Germany now is twofold. First, it must regain its competitiveness in a global market that's increasingly driven by technology and innovation. The transition from a car manufacturing giant to a clean energy leader is no small task, but it's essential if Germany wants to remain relevant on the world stage. This means investing heavily in renewable energy, semiconductor manufacturing, and battery technology, areas where Germany has lagged behind other countries. Second, Germany must address the growing political and cultural divide within its borders. The rise of populist movements in the East highlight the frustrations of many citizens who feel left behind by globalization and economic change. These movements threaten to further destabilize the country's political landscape, making it even harder for the government to implement the necessary economic reforms. Volkswagen struggles are a stark reminder that even the most successful companies and economies can falter if they fail to adapt to changing times. Germany's future depends on its ability to navigate this transition both economically and politically. The stakes are high and the path forward is uncertain, but the country has shown in the past that it can overcome significant challenges. Whether it can do so again will determine its role in the global economy for years to come. Volkswagen, with its headquarters in Wolfsburg in western Germany, was one of many companies eager to expand into the east after reunification. Among these factories was the one in Zwickau, a vital part of the local economy. Every other family is connected to this Volkswagen plant in some way, even if it's the butcher, says Thomas Nambel, a local representative of the IG Metall Union, which represents the workers at the plant. The potential closure of a factory like Zwickau would be a devastating blow to the community, both economically and politically. For Chancellor Olaf Scholz, such closures carry a political price. The automotive industry makes up about 4% of Germany's overall economic output, and when you include related sectors like metal and rubber manufacturing, that figure doubles. So we hope you like our video. If so, then do like, share, and subscribe to our channel. Don't forget to hit the bell icon for more such videos.